Okay, so hello learners, thank you for your love and support and this time we have decided to improve our content by introducing three new plans. So statistically it is shown that only 27% of the total registered students clears the qualifier, but 52% of our enrolled students clear the paper with flying colors after joining this program. So one may ask like what are the perks one will get after joining the program? One will get access to classes from expert faculties, live doubt classes to resolve all your doubts and detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignments, PVZ papers, mock tests and all materials that required to confirm your selection in qualifier and continue your journey in IT Madras, we are all gonna provide it. And you will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution. And you know what? All this for just Rs 599 which is just one time investment for a month. So, what are you waiting for? Grab the opportunity to call yourself an IICN. So, we also have other plans like for 119 we will provide detailed solution of all graded assignment for your qualifier as eligibility to appear for qualifier exam depends on your marks in the graded assignment. One will also be added to member exclusive WhatsApp and Telegram group for instant reply and doubt resolution for just 119 rupees which is all it takes to confirm your hall ticket for the qualifier exam. And lastly, we are there to help you after your qualifier selection by providing detailed conceptual solution of all graded assignment, previous year papers, interim quiz, revision sessions, and everything, all the materials that are required for you to have a very good grade in your IT journey, and all the doubts will be cleared using the exclusive member-only WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Thank you for your love and support, and for more details, you can visit our website. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to week 1 graded assignment solution of maths 1. Please subscribe and join our channel to get the full access of all our videos. Now let's start with the first question. Each of the following are irrational numbers. So which are irrational numbers? The real numbers which cannot be expressed in the form of p by q where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. Example like root 2, root 3, root 5, pi, pi, these are irrational numbers. Now let's check the options one by one. In the first option, it looks like a irrational number, but if we expand this, root 8 can be written as 2 root 6 minus root 2 root 18 can be written as 3 root 2 plus root 2 so 2 root 2 minus root 2 this is root 2 and 3 root 2 plus root 2 it is 4 root 2 so it is 4 into 2 that is 8 so 8 is a rational number so it is not a correct option next one now if we simplify this to simplify this we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator with root 6 plus root 3 right so you can see in the denominator it is the formula of a square minus b square so a square that is root 6 whole square that is 6 minus root 3 whole square that is 3 and in numerator it is root 6 plus root 3 whole square again after simplify formula is root 6 whole square that is 6 root 3 whole square that is 3 plus 2 into root 6 into root 3 right it is 3 again 6 plus 3 that is 9 and it is 2 root 18 by 3 now root 18 can be written as 3 root 2 by 3 now if we divide by 3 9 by 3 3 and it is 2 root 2 now here this root 2 is 
இது சொன்ன நம்பர்ஸ் ஸோ தீஸ் ஹோல்ஸ் த்ரீ ப்ளஸ் ரூட் டூ இஸ் பிகம் ஏ இரசனல் நம்பர் ஸோ இட் இஸ் ஏ இரசனல் நம்பர் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆப்ஷன் எகெயின் வி ஹாவ் டு சிம்பிஃபை திஸ் ஸோ ரூட் டூ கேன் பி ரிட்டன் ஆஸ் டூ ரூட் டூ ப்ளஸ் ரூட் டூ டிவைட் பை டூ ரூட் டூ மைனஸ் ரூட் டூ டூ ரூட் டூ ப்ளஸ் ரூட் டூ தட் இஸ் த்ரீ ரூட் டூ அண்ட் டூ ரூட் டூ மைனஸ் ரூட் டூ இட் இஸ் ரூட் டூ ஸோ வி கெட் த்ரீ ஸோ இட் இஸ் எ ரேஷனல் நம்பர் நாட் ஏ இரேஷனல் நம்பர் ஸோ இட் இஸ் நாட் ஏ கரெக்ட் ஆப்ஷன் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆப்ஷன் ரூட் சிக்ஸ் கேன் பி ரிட்டன் ஆஸ் ரூட் த்ரீ இன்டு ரூட் டூ அண்ட் ரூட் எயிட் கேன் பி ரிட்டன் ஆஸ் டூ ரூட் டூ ஸோ ஆஃப்டர் கேன்சலிங் ரூட் டூ வி கெட் ரூட் த்ரீ டிவைட் பை டூ ஹியர் திஸ் ரூட் த்ரீ த்ரீ டர்ம் இஸ் அண்ட் இரேஷனல் நம்பர் ஸோ திஸ் ஹோல் டர்ம் இஸ் இரேஷனல் நம்பர் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ ஏ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ அண்ட் இரேஷனல் நம்பர் ஸோ திஸ் டூ ஆப்ஷன் ஆர் கரெக்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் கன்சிடர் த ஃபாலோயிங் டேபிள் ஆஃப் ஃபியூ மெட்டீரியல்ஸ் அண்ட் தேர் இஸ் டைலெக்டிக் கான்சிஸ்டன்ட் வேல்யூஸ் ஸோ ஹியர் வி கிவன் a table here material and dielectric constant when material is here dielectric constant 1 like this there are six points now our question is we can think of this as a function f from the set of materials to the set of dielectric constant values consisting uh, uh, consisting of the elements 1 2 3 8 7 and 13 now pick out the correct statement from the following options are f is neither 1 1 1 2 1 nor on on to f is 1 to 1 but not on to f is on to but not 1 to 1 and f is bijective so simply we have to find f is 1 1 or on to or both so from the table we can see the domain set of f that is dom f is air vacuum i am writing this air as a vacuum is b paper as c glass as d narp membrane as n n and silicon as x so this is our domain set of f and the ring set or codomain set range f equals to 1 2 3 8 7 8 13 right now we have to check first f is 1 1 or not so i know a function is 1 1 if f of x1 not equals to f of x2 implies x1 not equals to x2 that means no two elements in the domain will have the same image that is each element in the domain has exactly one image in the range now if we check here that f of air f of air equals to 1 and f of vacuum equals to 2 right so f of a not equals to f of b and that is also implies that air not equals to vacuum so it is clear that f is f is 1 1 right now we have to check f is on to or not so f is on to if for any element in the codomain set that means the range set 
there is a free image in the domain so for any elements in the codomain set there is a free image in the domain set now we can see here every element has a free image in the domain set as one has a free image like air two has a free image vacuum three has a free image paper like this so this is also on to so the function is bijective as f is one one and on to both so this is the correct option f is bijective next question asking that consider the following sets a equals to x belongs to n that means the set of natural numbers where x mod 2 equal to 0 and the range is 1 less than equal to x less than equal to 10 so a is the set of na natural numbers the even natural numbers between 1 and 10 so a equals to 2 4 6 8 and 10 10 is included at uh, here it is less than equal to next b is the set of natural numbers such that x mod 5 is equal to 0 and the range is 6 less than equal to x less than equal to 25 so b is the set of natural numbers which are multiplies of 5 between 6 and 25 so the elements are 10 15 20 25 25 included as we can see the range 25 included and c equals to x belongs to natural numbers such that x mod 7 equal to 0 and range is 7 less than equal to x less than equal to 29 so c is the set of natural numbers which are multiplies of 7 between 7 and 29 so 7 14 21 28 these are the elements of c right now our question is what is the cardinality of a backslash b union c union b backslash c union a union c backslash b union a b union a first we have to find the set b union c okay what is the set b union c these are b set and these are c set so b union c is 7, 10, 14, 15, 20, 21, 25 and 28. These are B union C. Next, what is our C union A? C union A. It is 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 14, 21 and 28. Now B union A, B union A, what is the set? Elements are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 15, 20, 25. Right now, we have to subtract the elements of B union C from the set A. So, A subtract B union C is equal to. What are the common elements B union C and A? It's 10. So A backslash B union C elements are 2, 4, 6, 8. Right. 
next is we have to subtract the elements of c union a from the set b so it is 15 20 25 right and uh, next we have to subtract the elements of c union we have to subtract the elements of b union a from the set c so the elements are of this set is 7 14 21 28 now we have to union all these three union all these three and find the cardinality of the set now if we see in this in this three set no element is common so if we union this in that set these all elements will be included so the cardinality of this set will be it is 4 it is 3 it is 4 so in this set there will be 4 plus 3 plus 4 that is there will be 11 elements so the cardinality will be 11. So this is our right answer.